really like prairie gold wheat. Uh, it's a white whole wheat flour that you can get some places, unfortunately, nowhere near us. So we have to order it in large bags. And at this point, we can only order it in uh, wheat berries, not in, in flour. So we have a flour mill. The flour mill is a tried it hand operated way too much work to do on a regular basis so we rigged this up I got the uh, pulley measurements off of the country living website they actually expect people to do this and uh, don't expect you to, to buy the kits from them so they give information on what size pulleys to use depending on the speed of your motor particular motor that I'm using is a Champion Juicer that I picked up at a thrift store for a few dollars. Uh, it was missing the juicer end piece, but that didn't matter to me because I didn't need that. Um, as you can see, just stuck a 2-inch pulley on there. Got a 42-inch belt over to a 6-inch pulley. Down to another 2-inch pulley. Drive shafts are hard to come by. That is actually a giant hitch pin, but I found that she's exactly the right diameter with uh, some bearings on bearing pillows on either side and another 42 inch pulley up to the main drive and we have nice fine flour coming out. It's a slow process grinding wheat this way but since I don't have to turn the handle I don't mind that's a slow process. Okay so it's been running for a little while now uh, actually not sure how long but I'm gonna guess probably about 40 minutes. I have encountered a few things. One, the vibrations from this make the canister fall off. So I uh, just tied the tail of the toaster out or a tie down around here. Um, two, the rubber belts being brand new have some bits that have come off, so I'm glad that's nowhere near the food. Uh, and three, the drive shaft, being as it's not a real drive shaft, doesn't have the square uh, peg in it that keeps things from twisting. Because of that, this smaller pulley here did break loose twice on me. So I had to tighten down both set screws as tight as I could, and it's been alright since then, but that is something that's been a little bit of a, a nuisance. But, aside from that, everything seems to be working pretty well. The motor is getting pretty warm, but those Champion motors always run kind of on the hot side. This really, I mean, you can tell it's slightly warm, but I'm going to say maybe 5 degrees warmer than ambient temperature, so not bad. And we've got a pretty decent amount of flour out of the amount of time we've been going. When I started this was full, clear to the top, so we're doing pretty good. Um, you can hear the generator running in the background. This, the, the draw from this motor is too high for the solar setup or our converters to handle. So instead we have to run the generator this, but you know running the generator for an hour or so every little while to make flour isn't too bad so yeah there we go seems to be working pretty well oh and the reason the motor is off to the side this way originally I had it mounted right there you can see some screw holes from where I had even put blocks and had it all in there perfect got it going and realized that everything was turning the wrong direction so I had to put the motor off to the side here if, uh, if I can find some better way to do this I will but until then, this at least has it working. So, yeah, there's my contraption.